Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So we are going to be going over a few Power League games that I had no business winning, but somehow I managed to win and I think every game, okay, I shouldn't say every game. There are some games that you cannot win no matter what you do, guys, but 95% of games you can win even if you're out comped, even if you play bad. I feel like there's a lot of win conditions, especially in like modes where like one play can decide the game, like gem grab that we're going to see in the first one. But yeah, we're going to get into it, and the first one is definitely a funny one. <laughs> a little embarrassed to show you guys, but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, guys, so we have first pick on double swoosh, getting right into it. I think we should take the crow here just because I do, if I have the option between two really good first picks like squeak or crow, uh, depending on the map of course, I will usually go for the one that does better into tanks just because uh, you can get ran down really easily with last pick. I think it's pretty safe and crow it's not like horrible into squeak like at some point in the game you'll get your like jump and you can jump on them. Slows are also really good in gym grab and like a bunch of other modes that you'll play crow in. So yeah even if squeak's really good my personal preference it, I think it makes it a lot easier if uh, you do take crow. Otherwise you know they could go crow and then like a really good aggressive mid or like an anti-tank or like yeah I don't know just something that can give you a hard time I think it's easier to draft with crow. Uh, they're gonna go Squeak and Amber, so two really strong lanes. They didn't pick their mid yet, and uh, that's fine. I think Stu is just gonna be pretty good here because it's pretty safe mid, pretty versatile, and um, yeah, it's really strong on double swoosh. You can get a lot of value out of the speed turret, and I'm gonna go Sam here, and <laughs> you know, I haven't played Sam on this map before. You guys can probably tell once uh, the gameplay starts, but in my head, I'm like, all right, like right, I'm gonna be laning with like, a Squeak or an Amber. Um, but they end up putting the squeak mid, which you can do on this map, and I thought that would be okay too, because they go M's, and yeah, M's, like, it's a little, like, tough for Sam once he has, or once they're at a knockback, so then you definitely win the matchups pretty hard, but I was going weak side with Sam, maybe I should have switched and go, went, like, good side, but they were pinching me pretty hard, and I did not have a very good time. <laughs> All right, so game number one, and just a little sneak peek, guys. This is the most deaths I've ever had in a Power League game by like 10 for the whole thing. So you, you want to make sure you watch it. Uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to be aggro, and unfortunately, I do run in there. So on this map, there's this really weird thing. I almost killed the M's there. That was close. Uh, that would have been huge if I did get that kill. Even if, like, we uh, both die, I think it's fine because we'd get there in time. But he lives on 1 HP, and yeah, I was getting pinched the whole time, unfortunately. Also, my stew is on long dash stew, but that's fine. Like, we trade kills. Like, I'll do that all the time. I'm on bad side again, and I did get a knockback out. I did have to use my gadget. Here, I'm just going for the Amory because I don't want it to, like, be able to just, like, regen, like, comfortably and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think I'd die here. Um, that was just kind of sloppy. I wasn't really trying to switch lanes with Yeezy. I was just trying to cover him. Uh, wasn't <laughs> really playing my best. I think we had three deaths already. It's been like less than a minute. So, uh, you can kind of see there. I think that's okay. Like we apply a lot of pressure. It would have been nice if we could have got the kill or something. But another really weird thing is my stews on long dash, which not good here. Uh, definitely you want to be on the other one. So here I get him one shot. There's just not really any follow-up. Uh, I think that play is fine. I applied a lot of pressure, but yeah, he's on long dash too. I could not tell you why. And the M's is at a knockback, so I can just kind of run at it in a straight line. And this is what, like, I've been waiting for, bro. Like, I got all the knockbacks out. I see the squeak alone, and we're, we're going to get a reset at least. Unfortunately, our crow did die. I'm not sure what happened on the other side. But this game is definitely winnable, I think. We have crow jump. M's is out of knockbacks. So, like, I'll get up there in time. Uh, we're definitely looking to just get on the amber here. Unfortunately, I do go down. The amber is going to go down though as well. The crow poison will take it down. And yeah, we can definitely, we just have to keep running. <laughs> keep running in a straight line. Uh, at this point, like there's nothing else for us to do. I am out of gadgets, but I am going to go and I don't know if I get the M's. Maybe we reset. Yeah, we reset one more time and they're actually all very low. So they're going to die in and just keep running in a straight line, guys. Like just... <laughs> It's not a marathon, it's a sprint, like as fast as we can, just keep going over there, and I'm going to try dodging some stuff, but unfortunately, I don't think, it wasn't well enough coordinated at the end, so, yeah, I think I'm at like, probably like close to 10 deaths off that first game, so that was like a bit of a rough one, um, 
and like <laughs> a few like little micro things I can obviously be doing better but one thing that really like bothers me is there's a glitch with Sam and you can see it messes me up a few times I've never played Sam on this map before like I said where if you throw your gloves against like a wall like the end of the map kind of wall it'll just not go where you aim it so here I'm trying a bit like I think I'm just going to aggro and like right there you can see it happens like I did not throw my glove there so it's pretty annoying but me running in a straight line like their mid had to focus me I pressed my gadget there too it didn't go off I think I can definitely kill him there if my gadget does go off so just a little unfortunate but we do have like four gems right now and my gadget will go off there the M's is gonna knock me back and use it super so M's only has one knockback at this point that's pretty huge for us and crows can get a really good jump that's one of the dangers of playing squeak mid here uh if you get jumped on like sam like gadgeted or whatever like there's just not a lot you can do and uh yeah i know like i'm gonna go down they were all there like definitely could have played a little more patient i think um <laughs> just keep running it down like it'll work eventually hopefully uh sometimes it doesn't but <laughs> sometimes it does and yeah i'm just gonna go for the m's here M's is gonna have her knock you can see there like I definitely live or like I at least get my glove and can do one more cycle but my glove just doesn't go where I aim it so we are up like seven to four though like every time I go up I'm getting pinched by like two people at least so I'm definitely applying a lot of pressure and yeah, I'm just gonna run into the M's here and I think this is the last knockback okay I'll trade with the M's like that's fine like I am playing hard side hard side should like be kind of having a hard time I'm having an extra hard time though to be honest, but you know, I don't get discouraged. I keep going for it I'm applying a lot of pressure like I said just got to keep healing as long as I can Unfortunately, I don't pick up the glove there, but it is 8-8 at this point. I think M's is out of knockbacks uh, So yeah, I definitely could be timing these runs a lot better, but <laughs> Yeah, I mean there's always room for improvement. So here I'm like all right Maybe I don't do it exactly like that then I do mess up my glove, and I almost get it back. M's is at a knockback. Uh, but yeah, luckily the squeak, I don't know what he's doing. He kind of runs up too high, and my crow does hit a shot on him. So the stew gets two shots. So he kind of threw the game right there. We can reset now. M's is out of knockbacks. So uh, yeah, pretty big blunder from the squeak there. And I do have the amber. Now amber can't really kill me. I'm getting pinched by like three people now. So I'm just going to back off. I feel like I should have played like this a little more throughout the course of the game. Uh, but you can see here, yo, this is the play we've been waiting for the whole time, guys. The triple kill on the Sam. And it's going to win the game. Um... <laughs> just keep running down like if it's not working like and you're on a tank like you gotta just keep going sometimes the kd is not for all especially sam players i don't think i'm a sam player clearly you guys can tell from this gameplay but i'm working on it and uh, i have good games i have bad games usually you guys can see all the good games this one not as much but game three it's definitely winnable i can play it like a lot better like i've been saying my teammates have been playing fine i don't know why he's on the long dash stew also the stew's name og weighs 200 kilograms we always spin at each other i don't know who it is he just named himself that i'm not 200 kilograms like 200 pounds sure not 200 kilograms um but <laughs> yeah i get a much better start this time i'm gonna get in the grass and i'm just trying to stay alive a little longer and then the glove thing happens bro like it's just like ridiculous like why is that like a thing like it messes me up so much it's so hard to play on this map just because of that glove glitch it's happened like three times this video already like four times maybe and every time it happens it just kills me like instantly like there's nothing i can do so my stew getting nice and aggro that's what we like to see um and yeah maybe we can get like at least a knockback out my gloves are going to be over there so i'm going to sneak on them here i know they're going to think that i'm going to be over there but i do get a really nice play i do get like pretty like sneaky there and we'll kill both of them i did manage to call my gloves back to me obviously you don't want to attack without your sam gloves but sometimes you gotta do like you know 1200 per shot it's still gonna like take out like ambers and stuff sam's reload is just so fast and i see the amber there but the glove thing does not go where i aim it bro like it's actually like ridiculous like how much it affects like playing sam and this map especially i don't think i'll be playing sam unless it's like super super free matchup last pick just because like i can't throw my things off the wall it's all like the outside of the map uh and here like i think i can kill the amber i get him one shot uh Stu's gonna clean up does he die there oh my gosh he's cutting it close with that one but uh 
Yeah, seven to seven, and I see they're both slowed, so I'm gonna go for the gem carrier, and I'll get a knockback out. My crow, maybe, I think my crow probably could have jumped in there and gotten a kill. I don't know if he gets out, but I think it's definitely worth it there as well. So I'm gonna go for the amber, it's one shot, just gonna get that, and that's fine. Unfortunately, the M's did slow me, so I didn't pick up my glove in time, but it's 10 to eight, we have countdown. I still have two gadgets, so I'm gonna go for the squeak, I think, or maybe the M's. Okay, nice. So we're gonna get a huge kill on the gem carrier, and you know, these are plays <laughs> that matter, all right? Like the other like three minutes of the game does not matter. I killed their gem carriers twice, like towards the end of the late game. I was just playing the long game. Six and 23, huge. Look at that healing, look at those damage stats. I was going crazy, bro, six and 23. We got the win though. <laughs> Definitely taking a screenshot of that one. That's by far the most deaths I've ever had in a Power League game. By far, guys. Like, and uh, yeah, we get the win though, so we worked out. All right, guys, game number two. It is gonna be on safe zone, so I'm playing with Drage. Uh, he banned my Macy for fun. So in my Twitch chat, I was like, all right, don't worry, bro. Like, you banned my Macy, I'll just go Nita. And then this guy chose Nita, bro, on safe zone, uh, and. Yeah, obviously you don't want to play Nita on safe zone, let alone like first pick Nita on safe zone. Uh, this is also not my server, guys. So it's not looking like a very good game so far, to be honest. They get like Eve Colette, which is just super broken brawlers too. Um, because we did not really ban anything. I guess the Shelly ban's fine, but you don't really ban, want to ban Coulter Macy. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, we go Brock, so we definitely get some damage, and then Grom, which is a ton of damage. And my thought, like, I'll pick Grom because I don't think they'll want to go a tank because we have Nita, and Nita's going to have an unplayable game otherwise. So they go Piper, so I think that, like, I think it would have been harder for us if they did go a tank. Like, granted, the Nita could just be on defense the whole time. But here, at least we have, like, two Brawlers that have, like, pretty decent matchups, like, Brock, obviously, it's kind of hard into Piper. I don't know if he's Jump Brock or not. Uh, and then Grom is kind of, like, decent to all of them. Eve can be a little hard to hit on Grom. And then he trades the Nita with me. And I'm like, all right, like, I'm going to be on, like, high ping, like, at least. Like, I could try going on the Nita. Like, someone's got to play the Nita. Like, we're not dodging this. Um, so, yeah, you can see with my shot, that's not how a Nita shot should look. I am on high ping here. Uh, and, yeah. We're gonna just be like weak side and hope our team can kind of do good. I do need to like move up the map at some point if I can. Uh, unfortunately, like it's not like that. So I can't just stand there because the Colette will be getting like free hits off me. It outranges me by like a good amount. Like you'll just see it, it'll, it'll be like this, right? Uh, so even if we do go down like percent, I gotta try doing something. And uh, yeah, I'm getting like kind of close to a bear just because when the Colette does go in, uh, I'm trying to block like one Piper shot there. I didn't want to die, but I did want to block the shot. Um, so this game is looking pretty rough so far. 44 to 89%. But uh, yeah, if we do get position, I think it's fine. Like, we have so much damage. I have Hyper Bear on, we have a Grom, and we have a Brock as well. So definitely crazy damage potential. You can just see like kind of the same strat as Sam, like just keep running down. Drage gets a huge super off there. I did like 20% or something like that, damage gear. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be, <laughs> it's hard to dodge. <laughs> I want like EU server, like on Anita, like against Piper Eve, like on safe zone, like this is not a fun game for me. So I am kind of applying some pressure just by existing in the corner, I guess. And you can see I do get a hit there. I get a bear guys, that's huge. Gonna get the bear with the shield down. And I think it hits the safe a few times actually. So yeah. But even though it didn't really get on safe that much, it did buy some space and we're able to clean up, but they did do a ton of damage on the other end. So it is like 50% to six. Um, and I think Drage got a really good super off there as well. The Klet's gonna finish it. I managed to get three shots in, gonna throw my bear in. And at this point, like we won the game, like they can't deal with the Nita bear this close. We have position and uh, yeah, I'm gonna chain bears. My bear is gonna finish it though before. I don't even need the second bear. So honestly, like I'm pretty happy with how that game went. Like I want like at least like 120 ping. I can't remember who it was like, the Germany server or the Finland. It kind of looks like Finland with some of the players in here, um, who you'll see after, but they're good players. And um, yeah, like <laughs> looking to run it back game two. Luckily I was able to get three shots off on the Colette. Otherwise we do lose the game. Um, so, 
Looking to have a better start than last time though. Like I said, I do need to be aggro because otherwise the Colette's just going to sit there and it's going to pinch Drage. I'm just going to be like not existing really. So even if I'm like blocking shots or whatever, letting my teammates move up, it's definitely worth than just me sitting there not doing anything. So if they do base race us, which I don't know why the Piper jumped there. That's really weird Piper jump. Uh, I think he's going to come back for me, though, and yeah, I'm going to kill the Colette. He's going to curve me, unfortunately. If I ever get in that corner, though, I am set for the game because I don't know how they get me out. It's just, like, mission impossible getting in there, to be honest. But we have a huge lead this game, and that's because, uh, obviously my teammates got in a good position to do damage, but they can't do that if I'm not, like, going up and, like, absorbing pressure at the same time. So, uh, yeah. It's got to be, like, calculated, though. You can't just... <laughs> not every game can be, like, the Sam game, you know, 23 deaths and you win. Um, and... A lot of that wasn't calculated to be fair, but uh, yeah here you can see I'm like kind of more like moving up and just kind of shielding like letting them shoot me so my teammates can go behind me because my teammates are very squishy. They do a ton of damage and I need to get in this corner. Like I said, once I get in this corner, I, it's pretty hard for them to get me out. Uh, I am able to peek better than their brawlers. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to regen here and at this point like I could probably go for safe, but I want to see if my team can get up the map and uh, we can just finish the game like that. So yeah, I'm going to get my Nita Baron. <laughs> Nita on safe zone, guys. Do not try this. Do not tilt your teammates. Like, I already get like messages saying, like, teammates keep going Mandy because you play Mandy all the time. Like, make it stop. So don't go the Nita on safe zone, guys. Please do not torture your power league teammates like that. Uh, I feel bad for them. But yeah, against Jiro, who's on the best team in EU. Uh, Kruk, who's a good player as well, and then I'm not too familiar with the Eve, but uh, yeah, pretty good EU lobby and need it on safe zone, so most healing. Alright guys, game number three. Um, so yeah, this one is going to be in Knockout, and you know, I'd say it's a crazy one, but the other two have been just crazy. So uh, yeah, I am going to be on a little bit of a different role this time. This time is my teammates going a little crazy, but it does managed to work out um pretty decently for us i'd say and uh yeah it's gonna be bell's rock so i think mr p is like i'm not especially scared of it in knockout i kind of like luckily i think uh i don't really like playing against grom so i'm happy that's banned out and we get cord first which uh obviously i don't think you can ever really go wrong with first picking cord um but it does have its weaknesses, and I think on maps like this, it can get kind of caught out. Especially, all three throwers are banned. I don't think anyone's going to go Barley here. Um, so, Cord is, like, particularly, like, pretty good into throwers in Knockout, I'd say. Just because um, you can kind of run them down and just hop over a wall and super them and take them out of the game. But, yeah. We'll see how it goes. They're going to pick Piper, which is definitely a strong lane here. Uh... Cord into Piper, obviously if you do like super it, it's fine, you can kill it, but yeah, if you're like the core landing a Piper, like good luck, you're not getting your super most of the time. They're gonna go Grey as well, which is like an aggro brawler. Um, there's not really any throwers, I don't think any of us are considering going throwers, and this guy, he's in my Twitch chat, I like him, he's a funny guy. But he has a limited brawler pool, so you can see he's showing his brawlers. Pretty limited, especially for modes like Knockout. And he's going to go the Sam. I was like, yo, bro, like, just go whatever you want. Like, I don't really care. I'll try figuring it out. Uh, <laughs> so we have Cord and Sam right now. They kind of get countered by the same thing. I was like, all right, like, this is looking a little hard so far. I was going to go Gus, but I'm like, nah. Like, I think they'll need, like, more attention. So I went Byron. Now, the thing about Byron is, you guys have probably seen me play it on Open Zone a few times if you do watch the videos consistently. I don't really like playing it like just Slave Healer Byron, but sometimes you gotta do that and sometimes you gotta carry and hit shots. I wanna do a mix of it here, so I am gonna go Pierce Byron, I think, um, because they do go Tar here and you can see it gets a lot of value in the Tar Pets. None of us are good at dealing with them. So the Pierce Byron, just specifically for the Tar Pets, and I do think that I'm gonna be doing a lot of healing, so if they ever do line up, uh, I can try lining up and timing my pierce and healing both of them or maybe just shooting through and hitting someone as well. The thing about when you're being like Slave Byron is you kind of like have to mix it with getting your super because your super is obviously like very good for healing and finishing kills if they go in. You can like splash both of them if you time it properly. So I will look to hit a lot of shots at some points and uh, depending, <laughs> sometimes your teammates like they're like oh, I'm getting healed by Byron like I just don't have to dodge. 
Uh, nice adaptation from the gray though is he is gonna go the wall brick I think that's pretty smart just because we do have a Sam So he's gonna do his best to take out and you can see my teammates just run them down really easily the first game Like that's really smart really well played from them and I'm like, okay, this game's gonna be a breeze But uh, yeah, definitely gets a little harder here Gray is gonna TP on me, but he will get traded out and um, Yeah, there is a Tara. It does a pull. I don't know if it's gonna go for it now if Kord does super Tara it can't use its pull, obviously, and if Tara tries pulling, um, the cord will cancel out the pull a lot of the times. I don't know the exact like the exact interaction, but I'm pretty sure it's not every single time. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is every single time. But I've definitely seen cord like cancel out Tara's supers by supering at the correct time. So yeah, pretty straightforward game. Um, you can see they are gonna pinch him a lot harder this time. So I'm gonna use my gadget on him. I don't know, like I mean, it's definitely a good time to use my gadget there. But I hate the position we're in right now. So I'm going to splash just to make sure I get my super. I'm going to try supering, but he does get Tara pulled, unfortunately. And I will go down. So it definitely gets a lot harder when Tara has pull. It's smart from the Tara to just save the pull for this round. You don't need to ego the 1v2 every time. Sometimes you got to know like when to just like call it quits. And it is pretty hard for Sam to go on any of them. If Tara has pull, Gray has TP, Piper has jump and a knockback. So I think a lot of the heavy lifting is going to be on me hitting shots after the first round. The first round, they can definitely just run them down. But you can see right there, uh, my Sam is going to go for a play. I'm hitting a ton of shots on the other two, though, so it's fine right now. We do have position, which is everything in knockout. Um, and he's just going to keep running. He's a very good Sam player, though. I'll give it to him. This is like three like very like tough matchups. I'm just getting ready to super because, like you know, that not hitting shot thing, my teammate, or not dodging shot thing, my teammate is doing here. So, yeah, luckily he is going to pick up a kill there as well, and I think he just manages to super and run away. So you don't always have to use your cord supers aggressively. I am going to take out the gray there as well, so good thing just hanging on to my super. And my cord is going to go down to the piper, so 1v1. This is where I thrive, bro. I love 1v1s. <laughs> I don't really play it the cleanest, but I get hard countered here. Like, piper into Byron, he's got a super too, like... He is out of curves, which definitely makes it like a lot better for me. Um, and I am just going to save my super. If I super him, he's going to jump. But uh, yeah, here, like, there's no risk. As long as I don't get tapped too hard, I just super myself there every single time. Uh, and yeah, he is going to have to jump because the smoke is coming in. But, you know, good 1v1. Could have played it better, though. Missed a few shots. All right, guys, so game number two. Uh, now, I don't think they'll get ran down as hard this time. Usually people smarten up, especially in like Master's Lobby or something like that. But uh, my Sam is going to waste his glove. So at this point, it's pretty hard to get. Like, I think you just got to accept you will not be getting that glove. And yeah, they definitely played a lot better here. So, you know, I'm kind of feeling myself. I just had a 1v1. I know Byron pretty well. Like, I played a ton of Byron. I know I can kill him there. And I know I can win this. Uh, not just because the Gray is one shot. I do have the gadget that can like just kind of like one shot people if I do time it right. So it's all about peeking. Um, and Byron's not the best brawler to peek by any means, but I also know I'm very close to my super, so they're not pinching me as well as they could. Definitely get an angle here, and uh, I think I almost kill him. And then I'm gonna get the heal off. Unfortunately, he has knockback Piper. If that's Curve Piper, bro, I win that 1v1 or 3v1 100%. But he has the knockback because of the tanks, so definitely unlucky. Um, but yeah, pretty unlucky. It was close. It was a good try. Like, I don't mind going for it. Like, I use some stuff. They use some stuff. Uh, I got a knockback up for my Sam, so that's pretty big. Knockbacks are going to be his biggest counter here, besides the tower pull, of course. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I used the Byron Gadget. I don't think it's the end of the world. I'm down to go for that every single time, to be honest. And here, like, I kind of realized they're pretty set up. They have all their jumps. They're bringing all the walls. Piper just did use jump so I want to make sure my teammates stay alive uh, I think the Tara should have definitely supered him there and uh, we're gonna get gray TP out so my Sam's doing a good job I'm trying to keep him alive as much as possible and I think Tara could pull both of us there as well uh, I'm gonna manage to just keep myself alive good pull from the Tara though just wasn't able to finish us off and my Sam did a really good job he did run down, run down the gray so you can kind of see just the running down thing here, it's definitely favored for us. Uh, the Piper can't really do anything at this point. Sam's going to go secure that kill. We're just going to stay spread out. Like, he can't really do anything there. Um, it's too close range. He's one shot. So, yeah, well played for my teammates on that one. 
All right, so match point for us, and I'm just gonna make sure my Sam is able to stay alive. He's gonna body block for me, so pretty good job. I'm dead here. There's like no nothing I can do, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, they are gonna take us out. So I got put in an awkward spot because my Sam took too much damage. I was trying to keep him alive, and yeah, this don't <laughs> try these comps, guys. Like. They're pretty unconventional, that's why I made this video, but you can win even if it looks pretty bad for you. So just don't like tilt too hard. I feel like people lose more games off of tilting than like playing bad or like comps. I mean, it kind of like ties in with each other. But uh, yeah, so here I know I'm gonna have to hit some shots as well because the last round did not go very good. I don't want to use my ammo on the tar pet it's just like it's gonna go away soon the sam takes it out for me i don't think i should have to use my ammo on it i need to hit shots because i'm the only one that can hit shots on my team sam's gonna go in and get a kill but you can see i kill the tara as well i think or i get him one shot i could kill the tara but there's just no point so i'd have to pipe her up as well and yeah the main goal here i was honestly considering just supering the tara i don't know if i need to but it's definitely worth like her not getting hits for sure um, and I think the core just supers him and kills him in two shots. Tara did get a full hit. Might have been worth it for me to super, honestly, just because of how good Tara's super is. You don't want to feed really good supers. If you can keep them, like, hard stuck without their supers, it's really good. So, in retrospect, I definitely regret not supering the Tara there, uh, now that I think about it a little more, because I am going to get my super back fairly easily, as you guys can see. So, yeah, we have full position. I don't know where the Piper is on this one. There it is. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but Kord's going to hit a good super there. I'm not sure if he manages to get the kill or not, but I think it's fine with the Sam's kind of doing. And, yeah, he's going to jump in there as well. They all line up for my super, but I think I thought I was going to go down. But looking back, maybe I definitely... I don't know if I would have went down. Uh, I forget what happened exactly, but 1v1... This is definitely Tara favorite, guys. I do have the pierce, so I can deal with the pets a little bit. But I'm just trying to bait him. This is my mod, too. This is serious. Like, if I lose this, you can be in my chat, like, just, like, waffling. So, like, I, like, I sat up for this, of course. And I'm going to bait out the Tara pets, which is really good. If I can just, like, keep him from not getting his super. So I'm just kind of making him waste all his ammo. He does not have the ice. I'm sorry, Bilal. I know I'll get my super right away if I hit all three of those. And, yeah, I do, and I'll take the 1v1. Pretty legacy Byron game. I think I played that one really well. Much better than uh, the first Sam game you guys saw. But, yeah, well played to me and my teammates in all three of these matches. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed something a little different. I think you guys like when I do, like, kind of twists on Power League videos, not just, like, the same, like, copy-paste every single day. So I thought this would be a cool one. If you like it, I have a ton of these games. Like, I can build up over my streams. And, uh, yeah, I'll definitely make a follow-up video if it is something you guys enjoy. As always, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Peace!